Welcome to Spotlight. I'm Ryan Gertzma. And I'm Robin Basselin. Spotlight uses a special English method of broadcasting. It is easier for people to understand no matter where in the world they live. A family awakes to start the day. They have slept too long. They are late. The mother hurries to make the morning meal. The father worries about being late for work. What will his employer say? The youngest child cries. He cannot find his schoolwork. And the oldest child worries about a test at school. Everyone in the family is experiencing feelings of pressure or stress. Life can be busy and full of responsibilities. It does not matter where you live or who you are. Life is full of demands. These demands may come from work, school, or family. The demands of life can cause feelings of mental, emotional, and even physical pressure. These feelings of stress can be intense. No one can avoid stress completely. However, there are simple ways to manage stress. And these steps can improve a person's quality of life. Today's Spotlight is on stress and a few basic ways you can manage stress in your life. Stress is a normal human reaction. When you experience pressure or danger, your body produces stress chemicals. These chemicals prepare your body to either fight or run away from danger. This reaction can save your life. But too much stress can be harmful. It can make you tired. It can make you feel easily angered. And it can even make you sick. <coughs> Over time, the continual release of stress chemicals can lead to diseases like high blood pressure and heart disease. The good news is that stress can be managed in healthy ways. And the first three letters of the English alphabet, A, B, and C, can help you remember four simple ways to manage stress. The first two ways you can manage stress begin with the letter A. First, you can alter or change your situation. Imagine that Vijay lives in a small village. He is a fisherman. When he catches his fish, he has to decide where to sell them. He can sell them at the local market, or he can sail along the coast and sell them at a larger market. He does not know which market needs fish today. If he sells his catch to a market with plenty of fish, he will not make as much money. He does not have much time to decide. 
The markets are only open for a few hours. Vijay is under pressure to make the best decision. How could Vijay alter the situation and reduce his stress? One way Vijay could alter his situation is by using a mobile phone. He could call both the local market and other markets along the coast. He could quickly learn which market needs fish that day. Now, he can make an informed decision. And he no longer has to worry or feel stressed. A second way to manage stress is another A word. It is to avoid stress. We cannot always avoid stress, but sometimes it can be easier than you would think. Imagine a young married man and woman named Cindy and Dave. They live in London, England. They both love milk in the morning, but they like different kinds. Dave likes milk fresh from the cow. Cindy likes milk from the market. They fight over which one to have. The fighting causes much stress for both of them. How could they avoid the situation and reduce their stress? One way they can avoid the situation is to have both kinds of milk. They could agree to each have their own container of milk. They can reduce their stress by avoiding it. Morning can now be a happy time in their home. A third way to manage stress begins with the letter B. Build your mental, physical, and spiritual resistance. Building resistance will increase your ability to live with stress. And it will reduce the effect of stress on your life. One way to strengthen your mental resistance is to imagine you are in another place. Some people call this taking a mental holiday. Imagine a man named Tobias. He lives in the city of Harare, Zimbabwe. As a boy, he spent most of his time on the Praia de Makuti coast in Beira, Mozambique. Now, he works many long hours at his office. His job is stressful. Tobias could reduce his stress by remembering the fun he had as a boy. He can think of the blue water and the waves rolling onto the sand. This mental trip can help Tobias calm his mind. Building physical resistance is also important in stress management. A healthy body will reduce the effects of stress. A good night of sleep will help your body recover from a hard day. Also, eating healthy food and getting exercise will keep your body strong. Building spiritual resistance to stress is also important. Many people believe it is helpful to pray to God in difficult times. This can build spiritual resistance and even reduce stress. 
The Christian Bible says, "Give all your worries and cares to God, for He cares about you." The fourth way to manage stress in your life begins with the letter C: change. Change the way you understand or feel about a stressful situation. Imagine that Carmelita lives in Mexico City, Mexico. Traffic problems are very common there. Traffic can stop a car for hours. Carmelita finds this very stressful. She gets very angry when she sits in traffic. How could Carmelita change the way she feels about this situation? Carmelita can change the way she feels by using that time in a new way. For example, Carmelita loves stories. So she could start listening to recorded books in her car. By doing something she enjoys, she can begin to look forward to traffic delays. A traffic delay will no longer be a stressful situation. Instead, it can be a chance for her to learn what happens next. In her newest book, you can never remove all the stress and pressure of life. But the A B C's of stress management can help you reduce stress in healthy ways. The letter A can help you remember to alter or avoid stress. The letter B, to build your resistance, and the letter C, to change the way you feel about a stressful situation. Together, the A B C's of stress management can help you improve your quality of life. Do you struggle with stress? What are the causes of stress in your life, and how do you manage it? You can email us your answers and thoughts. Our email address is radio at radioenglish.net. The writer of today's program was Anne Wilds. The producer was Mark Drenth. The voices you heard were from the United States and the United Kingdom. All quotes were adapted and voiced by Spotlight. You can find our programs on the internet at www.radioenglish.net. This program is called the ABCs of managing stress. We hope you can join us again for the next Spotlight program. Goodbye.